So for those of you that know me well, you will know that I'm uh, constantly changing up the straps on, on my watches and um, a real obsession of mine is the NATO strap to the point that I actually designed my own version, um, a set of five colors that is available to actually purchase on a separate website that I can give you the links for. But this is the kind of classic Bond NATO styling. And then I made a slate gray, an olive green, a beautiful blue, and a classic black. And that pretty much works with all the sport watches. So I'll quickly show you how to change them yourself at home um, with the little kits that I would give you when you purchase a watch from me. But if you take a classic um, GMT Coke bezel, for example, with a blue, uh, with the black and red um, bezel, um, this absolutely looks amazing on a classic plain black NATO. So I'll just quickly show you. Um, some of the later sport models no longer have the holes on the outside of the casing so you'll have to do this process from the back so open the actual bracelet to the watch up fully will give you a bit more flexibility and a bit more space to maneuver use the sharp end of the tool that i give you and literally do everything from the back so try and get into the spring bar through the open cavity at the back of the lug here and literally they're all sprung so you need to just kind of keep it and at the same time push your finger through to apply a bit of pressure so the whole thing just literally releases out then do the same on the other side so push the spring bar down on both sides and at the same time apply a bit of pressure from behind and the whole thing falls out um, you're left then with the watch head itself and you need to put the spring bars back in so if you quickly remove them from the bracelet sometimes they'll just fall straight out or just poke them through you'll get left with a, another set of pins. Put your bracelet to one side. And if you're putting on a NATO, you literally put the pins back into the case blind. Find the hole and guide the pin in. Hold it with your thumb if you can, and then take the other end of the tool, which is flat, and apply pressure to literally spring it into place. And you'll find it literally locates quite easily. And do the same on the other side, you see that? And you wanna hear that nice pop. Give it a really good tug to know that it's in place. So here you can see the bar nice and strong. When putting the NATO straps on, it's important to get them the right way round. So always start with the buckle end at midnight at 12 o'clock on the watch. So use the opposite end to thread from the top through and literally go all the way down and make a loop and come back over yourself. Like this. So you end up with a nice big loop which you then pull through. The important thing is then to secure it so the watch sits actually in the middle of the extra section. So go back through this way, pull it again, and then you're left with the watch securely in the middle. Adjust it a bit because it might be a bit high, pull it down, and there you have it. And when you put them on the wrist, you want to just fold the whole thing over, put your wrist down so it's easier to thread through the buckle. I'm doing this on my right hand, so it's a bit unusual. Pull all the way through. Get a nice tight fit. And then find your hole. What you'll find is the first couple of times you use the strap, you'll probably go tighter. And then over time, it loosens up. Thread the strap through the remaining bars and then Create a nice loop by coming back again. And that way, when it's on the wrist, you get this nice extra ridge at the top. And there you go. So the black and the black with the red at the bottom really pops. It looks very sporty. Take it off, just 
pull the whole thing apart. And there you go. Nice and easy. Pull it apart if you want to change color and you can put a gray through if you want to. Same process. Also looks great. And then I'll quickly show you just one more on my classic James Bond NATO um, to put on a Submariner. So quickly do that as well. This one's easier, has got holes on the outside of the case. So literally push through from both sides. Removes the bracelet, do the same again. Once again, remove your pins. Don't worry if the end links actually come off because I can show you how to put those back. Put the spring bar in one side at a time, flat end, hear it pop. And with the holes on the outside of the case, you can actually see the pin secured in it. Do the same again. Listen out for the pop. Buckle at 12 o'clock. Thread through, loop over. Submariner, James Bond, NATO. Quickly put the bracelet back on, remove the NATO, pull it all from the top. Some of them can be quite tight, so just pull it out. Take your spring bars out using the sharp end. Put them to one side. I have a habit of rolling off the table, so keep an eye on them. Go back to the watch. Now you've got to put the bracelet back together because often they fall apart on the older pieces. The actual flush fit itself goes on top of the end link. Secure it and then the spring bar will actually go through that entire section. Now, when you put a bracelet on, you're looking for the Rolex crown to actually be at the six o'clock position, so the opposite ends of the straps. And you do everything from the back. These have the spaces to stop the flush fit from falling all the way through. So you just guide it behind and you'll be left with the spring bar sticking out. Again, flat end and do one kind of you have to jimmy it from one side to the other backwards and forwards until you manage to keep the pin underneath and then you're looking again for that popping noise on both sides and again have a quick look and you can see that the pin has filled that hole now do the same on the other side get this spring bar put the end link back in secure it through and then spin it all around and do it from the back flat end and applying a bit of pressure with your thumb you might come back out again so push it through and you're hearing that pop of it pop and on both sides and that's it back to normal so there you go masterclass in natos <laughs>